Hi, CF Liu here. Now in today's video, I want to really share with you how much medical costs in Malaysia really cost, right? How much does it cost to be hospitalized and go through certain procedure? Now you see that medical costs or medical procedures in Malaysia is very regulated. It's like a government gazette. Okay, now but it has not been revised for a lot of years. Now at the time of this, it has been revised a few years back, but still at the time at the point when it was being revised, I think it was in uh, twenty fourteen. Uh, I mean this is a notice by this uh the, the, the then Minister of Health, right? Uh, Datuk Sri Doctor Subramaniam. Um, the fact is, medical medical procedure in Malaysia is very regulated. Uh, in a sense that it's, 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 it's stated in something called the 13th Schedule, Private Healthcare Facility and Services Regulations uh, 2006. Now, here's the thing, here's the thing. Um, unlike, you know, lawyers as a profession, whereby the fees are actually also regulated, there's certain guideline or schedule, but lawyers' uh, fees is always, uh, as far as I know, they always say what is the minimum a lawyer can charge okay when it comes to their fees but when it comes to doctors the schedule actually tells doctor what is the maximum they can charge so they can't charge more than what is stipulated in this 13th schedule uh, for lawyers they can actually charge much more than that because that is called what i call it a minimum schedule so whoever actually came up with this actually um very is very smart when it comes to lawyers doctors not very so because the fee stipulated is the maximum that can charge then how much it really costs right and today i'm going to go through that with you um but just so that this is not something that i uh, i make up because it's follow these uh 13 schedules are based on malaysian medical association schedule of fees fourth edition 2002 um one thing to know is that um the the fees is only for the medical procedures what we call as the consultation fees and when doctor actually you know do something like consultation reports and all that but the other components you know of a hospital charges such as fees for accommodation lab investigation nursing care use of equipment and operation room drugs and all that is not regulated all right due to the varying costs in operating and maintaining private hospital at the different areas of the country um you see total cost medical treatment at private hospital is relatively higher okay uh cost in a public hospital of course is cheaper because it's highly subsidized by government right and uh it says also here right and i have empathy for doctors is because you know we say about inflation three four percent a year minimum minimum actually is more than that uh, when it comes to personal inflation for most people however here's the thing it has not been revised since like more than 10 years right before this revision came along and what it means is that you know, the public was crying foul about oh i mean uh, you know the medical cost is going high now medical supplies medicine are going sky high skyrocketing because you know of the advancement in medical technology and the medicine but doctor fee has been like it probably one of the very bad profession to be in because you cannot charge more your fees has not been inflation adjusted for the past more than 10 years right this is why it makes a lot of people uh, not people a lot of doctors actually complain especially general physician gp as you can see from this video over here when they have a dialogue with the new uh, uh pakatan uh, new ministry uh, minister of health you know that i draw for some other video now just look at it Someone mentioned fair price. Fair price for medicine. Yes. How about a fair price for our consultation? We are paid 10 ringgit. I'm not a gatekeeper. I'm a beggar at your gate. Yeah. Good morning. Outside, when I charge anything more than 
Now that being said, jumping up to here, uh, the fees and consultation existing medical procedure had not been, never been revised static since 2002, right? Um, and of course, it's cheaper than other countries. So uh, there was average average about 14.4% professional fee which are announced uh, based on CPI for the past 8 years. And I have feeling empathy for doctor because 14.4% uh, no, uh, for 8 years is just like nothing, right? um but you know the public might have a uh, different opinion if you're a doctor watching this actually i'm with you because i know that your your job is saving life so your your fees are worth more than that than a 14 percent increase uh, in eight years as what it stated you know over here um so again 14.4 percent which is lower than 30 percent mma actually malaysian medical association actually proposed 30 percent rate increase but government only approve the ministry health ministry only approve half of that right so um that being said let's jump in here i have some very good sharing with you on this the exact number of uh, the, the exact fees for exact uh defined medical procedures over here this is called the 13th schedule now this is 174 pages but Half of it is in, in Bahasa Malaysia, the half of it is in English. I'm just going to go through you, you know, the English uh, part of this 13th schedule. Uh, very interesting. There's something that I learned also. Uh, for a doctor, right, um, the office hours, of course, um, actually uh, ranges from 8 to 6. 8 to 6. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Because, you see, out of this 8 to 6 p.m., this is what we call as out hours. And the chances are actually different, right? um uh so uh what we said and all that so let, 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 let uh, let's see over here what they have over here for what we said including rounds you know making run the fee for consultation may be charged for maximum two visits in a day regardless of actual visits made except in cases where additional visits are da, 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 which means that that is why this makes sense right doctor only visit you two days you know like two days not two times in a day which is why medical card generally only cover for two visits in a day if you got hospitalized and doctor for whatever reason visit you more than two times in a day then the medical card is not going to cover you and that extra visit you have to actually bear on your own right um and it also says that uh two or more procedure meaning that imagine there are two surgeons operating on you at the same time and normally you know two specialists like surgeon and anesthetist uh i really have difficulty pronouncing this term anyway um they say that it shall not exceed 50 percent of that procedure so they cannot charge you like 100 percent, 100 percent. so they have to something like discount that fee or something like that um and then when two or more procedures are performed through separate incision meaning that in sequence rather than together then you know you can the doc the surgeon the specialist can only charge like 70 percent out of respective professional fees stipulated in the schedule um so um just skip on here uh when the procedure is complex in nature uh and the total cost child by second surgeon shall not exceed 50 percent so it means that more than let's say you have a heart surgery the way i understand this is that you need two heart surgeons because very complex one surgeon cannot go team cannot settle that's why uh surgery only can have 50 percent of stipulated fees uh consultation fees now this is very interesting um, it says for a GP, your neighborhood doctor, the consultation they can charge is about 30 to 125. I have not seen really doctor charge 125 per visit for the first visit. Any clinic who actually charge that, I think, right? Although they are not breaking the 13th schedule here, uh, would be, you know, people will actually run away from that, right? Normally, they even charge like sometimes I see if you look, go to any outpatient clinic, it's probably like 15 20 ringgit still like they're under charging because if you know if you charge like even 50 ringgit no 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 people will actually want to go to that clinic which is like way underpaid for a lot of doctors right um so if the consultation is still after clinic hours after six I meaning you go to a clinic uh on the night shift right evening shift a uh, doctor actually can charge 50 percent above the usual rate so if the clinic normally charge 50 ringgit 
on the first consultation they can charge right 75 for example now if you actually ask a doctor to come to you house call or house receipt now it, i mean I, I thought that actually cost me a lot of money but you don't have to be like a millionaire to actually do that because if you call a doctor to your house they can charge double assuming that if normally they charge 50 ringgit then it's just 100 ringgit right it's not too bad and not too bad for a uh, house visit and it says that what clinic without pharmaceutical service i think with very less clinic without pharmaceutical service they can charge a bit more um uh, what else um uh, consultation for a home call visit okay specialist fee first visit initial consultation they can charge up to 80 so you see the lower limit is higher 80 to 235 which is why i think some hospital now consultation fees for doctor i see there's 80 ringgit i did not realize it's really it's just the the minimum not the maximum right some doctors actually charge 110 you know even you go to hospital bandai and all that um but obviously this is still within this if we charge 80 don't actually say expensive because still within is the minimum of this schedule right and uh, again this rate apply after cleaning hours 50 percent above house call your house is 100 percent now how about follow up or follow up visit or consultation you wow it seems like it's only half of this right if it's a follow-up visit consultation which is why if you go to a hospital you have to actually press to press your number before you register for that right uh, for your admission or whatnot or consultation there's two button over there when you get the number one is initial visit, uh, visit and the, the second button is always about follow-up consultation hmm, now I understand why they have this have to differentiate between these two because you know doctor consultation fees are different right and of course you see radiotherapy oncology this more like outpatient uh, you know uh, 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 cancer treatment uh, seems like basic treatment around these uh, these figures and all that so um, moving on to I think uh, here 95 okay ECG with report which is a normal item normally when you go to health check medical check or you know some insurance declaration it costs you that much of money um jump to here 98 now um so just very common procedure when it come to you know you have an appendix problem right uh normally you cut that off right uh which i think they call it appendix appendix stop me and don't don't laugh don't laugh right i mean if, if, if you like this so far don't laugh but instead if you want to laugh click on the like button if you find this useful i'm going to do this with you for the effort just click on the like button i'll really appreciate that so we can reach more people that need this information such as you please help me out with that thank you very much now that being said uh it's cost about like only about thousand five i thought it's about like three thousand right but if again you have the urgent situation let's say if you have sing good in singapore it could cost you easily like thousand five sing dollar which your medical insurance as you know or medical card we only reimburse you for what is reasonable and customary in malaysia uh, malaysian rate right so they're not going to reimburse you if you have this surgery in, on an urgent situation in singapore right normally no well you can appeal for that but you know 50 50 percent chance okay um that being say um 90 okay what now this is very pretty funny because it said repair of you know this one is still rectum or anus which is your butt and they say repair of anal trauma it costs you around thousand three i wonder what kind of situation you will have an anal trauma hmm. <laughs> maybe maybe they're going for something very kinky in the bedroom that's why you would have an anal trauma i mean just a guess now moving on so this procedure is actually quite like three four thousand i mean if you have noticed now that is really not so unaffordable right when it comes to consultation fee it's really like nothing right now why medical bill at private hospital is so expensive because it comes to all those medical supply you use the surgery uh, operating theater and all that the all that adds up even one gloves one cotton bud okay that they are actually using for you that everything of this is chargeable plus certain like sst and all that but as far as, as you can see the medical procedures the fees which is regulated are not that unaffordable but when it comes to certain conditions like very complicated like nerves you can see nerve surgery are very relatively higher fees compared to other kind of fees you see 
5,000, 7,000, 5,000, 9, and all that. So, you know, uh, doctors who are specialized in this will make big money, right? Uh, compared to, let's say, um, a, a skin specialist, which I'm going to actually go, go through with you. Uh, okay, 105. Now, okay, now, general dermatosurgery. surgery. Yeah, so you know that this uh, cis cast and new skin and all that is only like in three figures rather than a mid four figures for a neuro surgery, for example, right? So all this actually normally a, a lot of these GP clinic nowadays, at least you know, uh, from where I stay, they also have an in house you know facility whereby they can do all this dermatol surgery like laser treatment and all that i think that actually makes them more money than when you go to a doctor you say that i have a flu a fever and all that because they are going to charge you only like 50 ringgit and so right but these are the part where the money a lot of gb clinic makes a lot of money for this like especially like laser surgery which is more like a cosmetic you know surgery and or all that like you know doctor call skin clinic or something like that now uh, moving on, uh, what is here? One to seven. Okay, so I think I have another thing interesting over here. I want to share with you. Um, here, what I okay, angioplasty very common, which is what we call the heart balloon. Uh, obviously, it's not that expensive. Thousand seven, two thousand something. You know whether they use insert a metallic stent or not. You know. Uh, but normally when you do this here do this procedure it costs you like 20 30 thousand probably because all the medical supplies comes into place right which is unregulated again like i say uh as far as doctor fees is really not that uh high neurosurgery you see it, it reaches about seven thousand so neuro brain and all that consider if you're especially in that i think um they're looking for you know you do these 10 surgeries in a in, in a month you basically have 70,000 right on that month now that is how uh, the fees are no cesarean delivery very interesting is only less than 2,000 my wife had one and it cost us about like hospital stay and all that add up together they normally quote you the entire package not normal 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 delivery only cost you like already cost you like three four thousand cesarean I think by the time of this recording is about like five figures right like uh, less nine or ten thousand or twelve thousand but actually doctor fee is only part of that because all this about operating theaters the medical supplies and all that all right now that i know it's really not that expensive it's the medical supply that really kills a lot of people when it comes to these medical expenses now uh moving on now again this well that's very interesting obviously this is a big section over here uh female reproductive organs you have like different different kind of surgery you know obviously i was absolutely blown away by the kind of surgery you can do to a female reproductive organ including the vulva and labia which is well anyway let's uh, move on uh, to here what i have for you uh 128 now this is where 128 uh well very interesting paternity test of course you don't have to do a maternity test because it's very obvious who, who when the woman gives birth to a child that's the that's her children right but paternity test it, uh obviously it you know cost it tells me it costs like about 135 to 400 in, in your dna test it's not that expensive anyway so by the way um if the video is already out uh by the way i've already uh recently had done i think uh, dna tests are uh, not actually have the result yet but if already have you just check out you know what's popping up over here you can see how and why i do my uh self dna test so uh moving on to this one psychiatry now psychiatry is more like therapist right um uh, on a per visit if you feel like you're having depression you something is wrong over here you're out of your mind uh, this one this is how much it costs to actually uh go through uh for 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 well 45 minute sessions or things like that right it's not that expensive it's still very affordable now i'm going to jump jump very fast over here and to here uh thyroid glands and oh medical exam fee which is very normal when you want to apply for insurance or medical card for that matter uh seems like you know for a non-specialty go to gp clinic medical exam for life insurance costs you about uh 90 to 230 that is where the doctor check you and then write a statement 
chop a, st a stamp on that and write you know write something a comment all that it costs you this amount but if you apply for a medical card normally this is the fees that uh, insurance company will actually reimburse you for it or actually pay the doctor for it depends how it's arranged now for especially if you have a medical examination it of course a lot more as you over here so that's why specialists earn more than gp that's very you know because fees are higher right uh, medical exam for life insurance is around this uh, 170 to 500 uh, medical report fee you know when you go to your attending fee, uh, specialist to get a statement of your uh, condition they can charge you like 55 60 people thought it's very expensive even 80 ringgit but no that is actually on the low side of things because they can actually charge you up to 330 and 570 just for that right and this is also very interesting because court attendance fee now i have a client that told me um sometimes part of his job he's you know he's, he's not he's a doctor by qualification and he also do, does a lot of research right but sometimes he has to actually go to the court to testify for a certain condition especially if some of case that he used to follow up so it's very it's very frustrating because your doctor you just want to do your thing and then you're being called by the court to actually testify for some conditions and all that right so medical deal for events and functions per hour so uh, again wow i mean this is this is actually not much but court attendant fee right this will come the cost of medical practitioners who are being called as a witness as required to study a research case not previous patient of the same practitioner practitioner the, 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 the expert opinion i think i also heard from another colleague of mine and not colleague another <laughs> i thought i'm a doctor and i'm um, uh, another doctor friend of mine that said there are doctors that actually specialize in doing this because this you can actually make good money right because if you are non-expert witness you can be paid like um and actually even incur in the cost of traveling you can pay like one thousand like per day expert witness you can pay get paid like two thousand per day you do that for 10 times in a 10 times in a month that is a twenty thousand income just for that right right and uh so can you just imagine like i didn't finish the name about income yeah well now now second part dental fee now dental fees of course uh for dentists dental surgeon they can't really charge as much uh regulated there's a wide range between 55 to 3, 345 again it depends on your branding or how competitive you are in your market you know smaller town might charge lower uh dentists at an uh, uh, um, urban city might charge higher for that you know depending on the branding and all that so this is data 10 october 20 you know 2013 so what else so as you can see just to wrap up this i hope that gives you um good good um good perspective on how much a medical cost in malaysia actually costs right it's not as scary but you still need to have a medical card because medical card as you can see if you cover most of the medical supplies and the use of the facility or advanced treatment which is not part of doctors or specialist fee to cover for that because that is unregulated you cannot Ex anticipate how much that's going to cost right that's why easily that is going to be like inflation of like 14 percent per year and all that doctor consultation fee probably found only like 10 or 20 percent out of the entire medical bill which is why like i say in a summary when you buy a medical card you are only actually covering mostly the medical supply charged by private hospital now that being said, um, if you like this uh, this 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 uh, video, this lesson, this sharing, click on like. Um, you know, subscribe if you haven't already to get uh, more videos. Like click on the notification bell so you get notified when I publish. You know, lessons like this, personal finance lesson, insurance is part of it. Um, you know, let me know uh, in the comment section below what do you think or any question you know that you have. And uh, of course, you want to get this. You know i can direct you you know um i, I look check at the comment section myself so look at i, I just post you know say that i want this uh this uh, fee so you know any medical procedure actually you can refer back and see how much it costs and all that i'll refer you to where you can get this exact pdf statement it's a public document but you might not you have missed it i don't know where to find uh that being said uh, i'm safe Liu. um you know i'll see you in another uh, weeks of uh, lesson